Hi everyone, this is Maria and this is my collecting habit. And so in this video, I have another estate sale haul. And so I returned to this estate sale that was about, I wanna say maybe about five or six weeks ago in Redlands, California. It was held in a historic home that was like a hundred years plus old. So everything I'm about to share with you, I purchased over three days. And so on the first day, I had everything in my bag and they gave me a price and that was $20. The second day, I really filled up my bag. I mean, it was stuffed and they charged me $15. Now on the third day, I believe it was 50% off. And I think Joey and I had like a bag and a half of stuff. We had a lot. And so they charged us $14 that day. So the total was $49. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this right here. This is vintage. I mean, this is the stuff my mother used to buy like at the dime store or at Woolworth. And so it's plastic and you could just put it on the wall. It's a really cute decoration. I love vintage Christmas. It's holiday curling ribbon. Oh my gosh, still in the original boxes. And so there were five of these and there was a lady I was talking with and I pointed these out to her and she took the other three. And so, but I mean, I knew this was a really good deal. And so I love to set these things around the house at Christmas time. And now that we have all of the cats, you guys, I'm gonna have to limit that to my crafty sewing room and where I keep my dolls. This Hallmark ornament, it's Barbie in her wedding dress. I think it's called Wedding Day. It's brand new in the package. Oh my gosh, the original price was $15.95. I remember when this was available at Hallmark. This one is brand new, you guys, and it even lights up. It's a Hallmark keepsake ornament, and it's called Flickering Light Fireplace Lighted Tabletop Display. I mean, you can use these little Christmas ornaments in miniature scenes. Look how cute, the little teddy bear in the rocking chair, and it says, my special friend because it has a little bird on the chair really really cute look how adorable this raggedy ann and so it's really fragile because you can see the sled is made of paper just really really cute really clean and so there was a lot of christmas stuff in a room upstairs in this home. i have a collection a small collection of angels this is also vintage these are from hallmark and so two of them are the same, but I went ahead and picked them up and just put them in my bag. And so this one right here is Santa Claus and it has a little story here. It's a cloth Santa that's stuffed. This one is also Christmas themed. Look how cute, the barn. And it's called the Little Drummer Boy. Just love this. And then this one right here is the same, the Little Santa Claus. And then I came across this adorable ceramic teddy bear. Look how cute she is holding her little Christmas present. So my husband, Joey, loves to decorate the Christmas tree with glass ornaments, and most of those are vintage. So when I saw this little bird, I picked this up for him. It went right into my bag, and it's got a little clip that clips onto a tree branch. And then I came across these adorable dancing ballerina bears. Look how cute they are. They're made of felt, and then look at their little dresses, so cute, and their little shoes are embroidered. They look machine embroidered. And so they all hold a different pose. We have this one here and this one here and then this one here. You can see the legs are in different poses. And then I came across this adorable Santa and it's got a little clip on the back and it looks like the nose lights up. And so I did press the nose to see if I can get it to light. And you know what? I pushed it right in and I go, oh no, I broke it but it easily comes apart and then I just put the nose then back. Then I came across this adorable little reindeer feet sack. Isn't this cute? So this would look really cute in a miniature scene. And it says the North Pole. There was actually two of these, but I just took the one and it's got a little felt mouse. This definitely looks like a DIY. Someone made this a long time ago. And it says here on the ribbon, not a creature was stirring. And look at that, the little mouse is asleep. This is made from a sardine can. And so you could tell the sardine can is also vintage, you guys. And then I've got this little ornament here. I have some other ones that are still in the package and I'm gonna show you those in a second. And so several years ago, I used these little miniature ornaments, the wooden ones, I was collecting them and then I made Christmas wreaths. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. And so I might make another wreath, you guys. And here is another wooden Christmas ornament. Look how cute this is. 
you can see him on the back front and back and then look at this one right here with the little house so adorable just really love this i love the polka dots on the roof there's a little tiny chimney look at the tiny little pine cone oh my gosh just way too cute i found this little santa claus in his sleigh you can see the little gift there now this wood is very lightweight and then i came across this little wooden block here with images of santa claus look at this it says made in taiwan and then it has an a here on this side and a b now mrs claus here is made of ceramic she was also made in japan she's marked right here she's also dated 1979 now these two little cuties are made in mexico they're very lightweight plastic and they are backed with cardboard and they say made in mexico look at the ceramic teddy bear it went right into my bag the moment i saw it and so it's dated 1984 made in taiwan so i guess things were still made in taiwan back in 1984 and it was made by the applause company and so i do remember applause but isn't this cute it's ceramic it's got a nice weight and again this would look really adorable like in a little christmas setting and then i found this little christmas angel but when i put it in my bag i'm pretty sure the wings were attached it looks like they broke off and so I'll just have to hot glue them back on. And again, when I saw this gold harp, it hopped right into my bag. And then when I got home, I didn't even realize that it plays music. And so I put some batteries and it still works, you guys. This is made of plastic, so cute. So we're almost done with the Christmas bag, you guys. And so look at this right here. This is so cute, all the little sleds. And then we have it looks like a little Santa driver and it says Xmas Christmas. And then I found this set of four Christmas utensils. Look how cute. We have the spatula and then we have a fork and then we have the rolling pin. And so then we have this one right here and this looks like a knife. I have an airplane here that it's broken, but I know I can glue this back together. It's in the original package and then i got an angel in the original package and here's another angel with a header here a cardboard header and then here's another angel and then i got this little christmas bell and you guys i got this little bucket it's a little wooden bucket it says originally 99 cents and then we have a couple more this teddy bear right here it's like paper mache she even has a little pom-pom and then this one right here i remember when this was popular like in the 70s and so this material here this plastic just a few more christmas items you guys i found this little christmas book it's like an accordion it opens up look how cute and then i came across this little vintage pencil sharpener look at this and it's got a little elf on top it's a tin soldier it's made of wood made in japan and the bottom here it says original anr creation a-n-a-r creation japan and so it is made of solid wood you guys really really nice and it looks like it can hold a candle and, oh my gosh look at this figurine it also says on the bottom here on the tag made in japan it actually says import from japan and so but look at her blue eyes and her skis she is made of ceramic and then her red coat with a little red fur and then you guys look at her hat so cute and i want to point out her hair this is like hair you guys it's not painted on and it's nice and neat it looks so pretty i just love this and then i found these little christmas candles and so i went ahead and got these just put them right in my bag and so these definitely look vintage you guys okay so now we're through with christmas let me show you what else we got in bag number two and so I found this really cute dog. Look how cute this is. Isn't this really cute? It's made of plastic. You can definitely feel it's like a vintage type of plastic. It's more of a hard plastic. And so I really, really loved it. And then you guys, I found this bubble pipe. This is like from the 1960s. I remember seeing these things in the dime store. It has Donald Duck in here. It does have a little crack right there but that's okay, you guys. And so this will go in my dime store collection. And then I got this right here. I just tossed it in the bag, just a bunch of little doodads here. And so nothing real special, it doesn't look like, but there's like a little butterfly, a flower, 
never know you guys what I can use this for. I even like the little plastic container. And speaking of containers, I found this one right here, this tin Folgers can from the 1960s, I'm pretty sure. It's got the tin lid that opens up, no plastic, you guys. And so this is something my mother would have bought. And in the sixth grade, I would take it to school with my marbles inside. But mine wasn't this short. My mother would get the taller can. And so, but like I said, no plastic top. And I remember in sixth grade, I didn't have the lid on and all my marbles were in here. And I remember some kid went up the aisle to the front of the class and accidentally kicked it and marbles scattered all over the floor. Oh my gosh, I remember the look on my teacher's face, Mrs. Beebe, she did this, you guys. <laughs> all the boys scattered on the floor and picked them up for me. And so it was so much fun, you know, fun memory, I should say at the moment. I was probably mortified. And so I was really happy to find the Folgers can. I also found this little house. And so let me fix the chimney. And then the lid comes off. Isn't this cute? And so I don't think this is that old. It says 1987, so that's considered vintage, right? I collect miniature houses, you guys. Look at the detail. And it's a really light wood, very, very light. And then I found this one there also. And so this one on the bottom says made in England. And so this one is made of paper. And so I should make a video sometime of all my little mini houses. And then this reminded me of my dad because my dad collected some of the little toys from the fast food restaurants and he loved the Taco Bell Chihuahua. It says, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. So cute, right? And this is actually, it looks like you could put some money in here and it's got a little clip here. And then I found a Ziploc bag with all kinds of little goodies in here. It looks like a rabbit. There's a shoe, like a doll shoe, a little coat hanger, a little baby doll here. And so yeah, and there's some more shoes. Oh, a little bat ring in there. And so this isn't the original Ziploc bag, you guys. I had to put everything in a new Ziploc because the other one was just really old and dingy. And so you could see it much better this way. So my husband, Joey, found this miniature for me in the original box. It says, Hello, Dolly. It's a miniature wood gun cabinet with three metal old-fashioned rifles. And it's made in Taiwan. And it said it was sold in Pick and Save, you guys. And so let's go ahead and open it up. I mean, it's in the original box. Whoa, here are the rifles, you guys. They're tumbling out. And you can see that they're metal. There's that one. I think they're all the same. And so, yeah, they're made of metal, you guys. And so then you could put them right in here in the gun cabinet. So this looks like a little picnic basket. It's made of metal and it opens up. And let's see if I can open this up. And you can see there are safety pins in here. Ding dong, Avon calling. Look at this, you guys. This is a little keychain from Avon. And it looks like for a teacher. It says A plus best teacher. I think this is from a TV show. It says Erie, Indiana, population 16,661. But look at this bird. It has an eyeball in its mouth. Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments below if this was a TV show. It's made of rubber. And so anyways, you know what? I just tossed it in my bag. I thought it was kind of cute for Halloween. I also got some metal doll stands, you guys, because these can be very expensive. Now, speaking of dolls, I found this little vintage doll dress. It really needs to be laundered. So I'll be doing that. And you guys, I looked down at the ground at some point. It was in the dirt. I found these little jeans right here. I knew they had to belong to Barbie. That's right. But it wasn't until I went through everything last week that I finally realized it is Barbie. It's got the little zipper here. I mean, Mattel really made some really good quality things in the 60s for Barbie. And it's got the tag, you guys, look at this. Yep, there's the Barbie tag. And so Maria's got a good eye. I couldn't believe when I found this. This is an original Chatty Cathy pattern. So you can make her clothes, Chatty Cathy, was a very popular doll in the 1960s. And it says here, Mattel, four patterns, originally sold for 75 cents. Now everything is in here except the directions, but that's okay, Maria can figure it out. 
or I may end up putting this in a frame, you guys, and keeping it in my doll room. It also has an instruction booklet for a child just showing some sewing skills, and I thought that was really neat. But originally, 75 cents, can you believe it? Because patterns are so expensive these days. Now, this has nothing to do with dolls, but I thought it was really neat. It reminded me of my dad. It's called Echoes from the Foxholes. And then here is, it looks like the author was N.Z. Ward. And it's a collection of poems from this veteran. And so about his comrades and his experiences in World War II. And so I'm definitely going to read these. There was a stack of these there. I just took one and put that in my bag. And so I may share this again later. Just reminded me of my dad because he served in World War II in the Philippine Islands. It's a vintage box here that once held greeting cards. And so when I opened it up, it had like postcards in here, just all kinds of postcards with little notes on the back. So I can hardly wait to read all of these. I love letters, postcards, vintage photos, diaries, anything like that. It's just so interesting to me, probably because I'm a writer and I've used them for research before, but I just love having them and reading them. So much fun. So another thing I like to collect are the half China dolls. And I have shared those in some of my other hauls like flea market hauls. But oh my gosh, you guys, when I found this one, I just could not believe it because she was all there with her little dress. And then you could see there's a pin cushion and there's still some little pins in there, just in really good shape. She looks like a flapper. I'll show her to you more closely. So soon after I found this little pin cushion doll on that first day when I was at the estate sale, I went further out into the North 40, you guys. I mean, this property was large. And so there were these three little dolls. They looked like they were from around the world dolls, but they really truly reminded me of It's a Small World from Disneyland. Oh my gosh, I love them. I just fell in love with them. They're vintage. I looked them up on eBay. I tried to do some research, couldn't find anything like these. I found some breakable ones like ceramic and those are vintage, but not quite like these. I kind of feel like these were a little bit older. And so here is the first one. Look at this. Look how adorable. She is very lightweight. She is breakable. She comes on this gold painted wooden stand. Just adorable, right? And she is called Gretchen from Holland. And she's made in Japan. Let me see if I could show that to you. You can see Japan, Gretchen from Holland. I haven't even dusted these off yet, you guys. So, so pretty. So there's Gretchen. And then here is this one right here. Look how cute he is. Just adorable. Again, the gold wooden stand. Look at his little shoes. And so his name is Pierre from France, also made in Japan. Pierre from France. And so I love them. So Gretchen and Pierre. Now the third one didn't have a base but I knew it belonged to these two, you guys. And so look how adorable. Oh my gosh, I may have to do a separate video on these, you guys, but look how adorable, right? So I don't know what her name is, so we'll have to give her a name, right? And so we used to host Japanese students oh, years ago when our sons were younger, and so it was so nice. We hosted five different students so maybe I'll name this little one after one of the students. But look how cute. I know she belongs to the same set because you could see the gold paint from the wooden stand that is no longer there. But really adorable. I really didn't think I would find any more. But then on the third day when Joey went with me, I found another one and I was so excited. I found this one inside the house. And this one right here, look at this. Oh my gosh, and the same little gold stand. And this one is called McGregor from Scotland, made in Japan. So for sure, this is definitely one of my very favorite things that I found at this estate sale. I just love them. We're coming to the end of bag number two, and I just had to have this too, you guys. Look at this glass lion. Oh my gosh, I wonder what was inside, right? Just so cute. I love to collect glass containers, especially now with different shapes if I can find them. I got this vintage empty bottle of olive oil and it's got the little metal lid. And so it's called 
Pompion, I think that's how you pronounce it, virgin olive oil. And so this is something my mother would have in the house, you guys, not for cooking. She would give this to us if we had a tummy ache. We had Pepto-Bismol, which we used to call pink medicine, and olive oil. And so you know what? I love the taste of olive oil. It tasted so good to me. I still love olive oil. And so, but anyways, this is the bottle and I'm gonna set this out, you guys, because it reminds me so much of the one my mother used to get for us. And so it's just a vintage little bottle. The label is coming off. So I have to put a little bit more of glue on here to keep it down. And so this is one of those little toys, like a little party favorite toy that you would get like at a birthday party. And it's got a little clown in there. It looks like a little creepy clown though, right? <laughs> you know, the older looking ones. And so, but anyways, it's got the two tiny little balls. You can see them moving. And so you would try to get them to land into a certain spot. But anyways, I thought it was so cute. And this will go with one of my miniature collections that I have in my mason jars. I'll share those with you someday. So bag number three has some of the larger items that I purchased. So there are only a few more things to share, like this little chair right here. It's a little wooden chair. Look how cute it is, you guys. So I did buy another one the last time I was there, two weeks prior to this sale. And I did see it, but I thought, no, I'm just gonna take the one. And when I saw it there in the back, in the North 40, I decided I'm gonna take it. So now I just need like a little table to go with it. And then I came across this Winnie the Pooh, Classic Pooh Magnetic Advent Calendar. Oh my gosh, really, really cute. You could see how it opens up. It is still sealed. It's brand new, you guys. So this looks like just a regular cigar box. It says House of Windsor on the back here. It says Windsor, Pennsylvania, and it has instructions here stating for retails to sell these cigars for eight cents to 15 cents only. So this is a vintage wooden box. It's very lightweight. There's something inside, you guys, and it's not Cracker Jacks. And so, but anyways, let's go ahead and open it up. And inside, this is what I found. First of all, look at the artwork. And I found army men. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute, you guys? And I'm gonna keep it just like this. This reminded me of my late brother. My brother was a couple of years younger than me. And so, but anyways, yeah. And so this is going to remind me of him. And so when we were children, and so I was really, really happy. You could see the vintage army men. They come in different shades of green. These are little cutouts that you could buy by the yard at the fabric store. And so this is half a yard. And so you would get six ornaments. And so you could see you would sew them together and then you would fill it up with the polyfill, the stuffing. And so I knew these were from the 70s because that's when Joey and I were married. We were married November 1977, I believe. Yes, 1977. And I had purchased them and made them and put them on our very first Christmas tree a month later. And so, but anyways, I even found a photograph the other day and I could see them on the Christmas tree. Aren't they cute? And you can see the like the little calico prints, just love them. And again, I'm gonna turn it around so you could see the calico prints. And so I did find these already stuffed at an antique store a few years back. And so before the pandemic, and so I put those out at Christmas time. I love putting vintage things out. And this has a lot of sentimental memories for me. The next one Joey found on that third day. Oh my gosh, you see, I missed it. I had been there two days prior. And so again, these are Christmas ornaments. They're a little bit different but they're very, very cute. Just so, so cute. Look at that. Look at the little cat. I love the little kitty. I came across another one. Look at this. It's a football player. Sam Schnauzer, but it looks like a wolf. Look how cute that is, number 12. So the very last thing I'm going to share with you is this adorable bunny rabbit that once upon a time, she also came on a fabric panel. Look how adorable she is. Someone added the pink bow and then the pink tie in the back of her apron. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rip out the stitches here and I'm going to pull out all of the stuffing. I'm going to give her a good wash 
and make sure she smells really good. And then I'm going to restuff her and stitch her back up. <gasps> so that's the end of this estate sale, you guys. And it really was a long one. And so, but anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Happy collecting. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.